You may have seen scrambled messages like this that look like a bunch of red splotches and dots that actually have a secret message written underneath. Using plastic film, this is red see-through film, and holding it over will reveal a message. In this case, a reference to the board game Clue. It was Professor Plum in the lounge with the candlestick. In this video, we're going to talk about why plastic film like this allows us to reveal a secret message underneath and about light and color. Light is made up of the different colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Here a prism is shown dividing light into those colors. Light can be thought of as moving as a wave. Colors toward the blue and purple end of the spectrum have more waves that are shorter, like the ones at the top. Colors at the other end of the spectrum, by the oranges and reds, have waves that are longer and there are fewer of them, like on the bottom. If we were to look at waves past the reds and oranges that have even longer waves and that are fewer in number, and we'll get the things like radio waves and mi microwaves. Going past the other end of the spectrum, beyond the blues and the purples, there will be waves that are even higher in number and shorter, and there are, over there are waves like ultraviolet, and x-rays. This is why the light going through the prism split up into the colors of the rainbow, because different colors have different lengths of waves. So why do different things appear to be different colors? When light hits an object, some of the colors in that light are absorbed and others are reflected. In this object, all the colors are being absorbed except for the yellow, which is being reflected into our eyes. So when our eyes pick up the yellow light, that object appears to be yellow. An object can also appear yellow if the only color that the object absorbs is a color that's complementary to yellow on the color wheel. A complementary color is a color that is directly opposite another color. So here, for example, yellow and blue are an opposite size of the wheel. A white object will not absorb any color. Instead, it will reflect all colors, and all those colors combine when they reach our eye to appear white. An object that appears black will absorb all colors, so no light is reflected, and the object appears black. We can use this information about how colors are reflected or absorbed to write our secret message. I'm going to use a red crayon and green colored pencil to write, write my secret message. I chose the red crayon to match the red filter. And then the green is complementary to red, actually, and it does not have, uh, it does not reflect red color. I'm going to pretend like I'm writing a password to something, but the red crayon will actually be a decoy. So I'll pretend like I'm writing a password to something. A password. is goodbye. When I hold a filter in front of it, the red just blends in with the red of the plastic. That's because 
The wax of the red crayon is reflecting red light into her eyes, which is why it appears red. The white paper around it is reflecting all different colors, but only the red is being allowed through the filter. So the red of the wax from the crayon plus the red coming off the paper and through the filter blend together into a solid red background. When I write my secret message in green underneath, the green doesn't have the green is not reflecting red through the filter. So because no light is coming through the red filter from the green, because the red filter is blocking all the green, green light, it's going to appear black, like no light is coming off. So now I'm going to write my secret message. I'm going to write it over the letters in red here. So to make it less obvious that there's a secret message there. And then, then we'll reveal the message. I've written my message. The green is showing through a little bit, but I'll try to disguise it a bit. And now when I hold my filter up, it shows that the real one is hello. If someone sees the password is goodbye, we know that it's actually hello. I'm going to create some green markings here, almost like a background so that the green of our actual password looks like it's just blending in with the green decoration that I'm adding.